Hi, I'm Becky and welcome to my channel. I'm an outdoor enthusiast who has a deep love and connection to nature and the great outdoors. I involve myself in multiple outdoor adventures such as through hiking, bike packing, bushcraft, canoeing, pack rafting and overlanding, which is the newest of hobbies. I recently bought this old Land Rover Discovery to convert and travel in and oh my, it's been an awesome and very interesting process that still continues. I hope you enjoy my videos and make sure to subscribe to follow the journey. Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I am currently in the woods, sat around a fire, doing some bushcrafty bits, loving life. And I thought I'd come on here and make a video and explain what is coming up in the next few weeks and, and what my plans are. So you've probably got a rough idea from the title and that's why you clicked on it. So I'm just going to make it short and sweet and explain what's happening and why I won't be making YouTube videos for a while. So after a lot of thought, I have decided to take a trip to Canada. So in a previous video about a few weeks ago, I briefly mentioned that I had a travel voucher that needed using. So two years ago, I had a trip booked for Alaska and I never went due to all the circumstances that were happening at the time and I got a travel voucher instead. And only a few weeks ago, such little notice, I found out that my travel voucher was expiring this year and I had to use it to fly to either the USA, Canada or Alaska. So with very little warning and very limited time, I've had to come up with a trip that I will be doing for five weeks in Canada. And I will be taking on a really, really cool adventure that I cannot wait to do. And this will actually be on two wheels. So I'll be doing a bikepacking trip in Canada for five weeks and I am so, so, so excited. It's going to be epic. I have never been to Canada before, so it's going to be a whole different ball game when it comes to travel, camping, all sorts. I'm a little bit nervous, if I had to admit, about bear camping. Obviously here in the UK it's so easy and you don't have predators, you don't have many animals, so there's a flip side to that. Obviously it's lovely to see so many animals in abundance and get to witness so much wildlife. But on the same token, there is a lot of predators out there and it's gonna mix camping up a lot, I think, in my opinion. So honestly, these couple of weeks have been so hectic with planning and route planning and I'm trying to find a trip that doesn't need too much research. I've been trying to sort my bike and been going to specialise to sort out some of the mechanical problems, get new tyres, get a bike fit, that sort of thing. I've been calling airlines to try and get my travel voucher to work, which has been a bit of a nightmare. I've been filming and scheduling videos and obviously I can't do loads for while I'm away, so this will be my last one before you will see my videos in Canada. I've been packing everything that I'll need to sort of survive 
five weeks in the back country. There are resupply points for food, but on the whole, I'll need to be pretty much self-reliant. I've been learning about camping with bears and the procedures you need, like bear spray, a bear bag, that sort of thing. So yeah, it's been a tad stressful the past couple weeks, just trying to get everything to come together before I fly. It is super exciting. absolutely mint breakfast loved it <laughs> so you're probably wondering why if i was so fascinated and wanted to go to alaska so badly why am i not going this year and using my travel voucher um and i actually lost money on the travel voucher because the flights didn't cost as much as they would to alaska i think the reason being is alaska is my dream destination somewhere i really want to go and there's a trip i have in mind there that i really want to do and i think that should be more of a end goal because if I do the trip and go to the place that I love the most then everything else will seem a little bit naff and won't compare to that so Canada is still amazing and it's probably the closest thing you're going to get to Alaska as they are so close but um, I'm going to stick to Canada I think there's a lot more towns and places than the area I was actually going to in Alaska so anyway, if you haven't heard from me or you haven't seen videos from me or you try contacting me and, and I'm not replying, you know where I am now and you know that I'll be in contact very, very soon. I am filming out there so I will film, I'll get back and edit them and put them out on YouTube and Patreon as quick as I can. If you'd like to support this trip and journey in any way, then I have various platforms you can support me on such as Patreon, PayPal, Buy Me A Coffee and my Amazon wishlist and I'll leave all the links in the description. All of them options in a tiny way go such, such a long way to help in support my channel, to fund camera equipment and trips and equipment and travel expenses for these trips and just getting these videos out for you guys and making them as good as I can. And I already appreciate all the people have contributed to buy me a coffee um, on PayPal, buying me things off Amazon wishlist, which is so lovely. And all my amazing Patreons are listed in the description. Right, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hoped you enjoyed it. And it was lovely giving you an update on what I'm going to be getting up to and the trips to come. I'm currently in the final stages of planning my trip, getting everything sorted, packing my gear, everything like that, and I'll be good to go. So it's nice to have a base at the minute just to organise everything, have Wi-Fi to plan everything and upload videos and bits and bobs like that. I cannot wait for the five weeks that lay ahead in such a beautiful and remote area. And if you want more up-to-date content, then go follow me on Instagram. It's girloutdoors.becky over on Instagram and you will see more daily content or updates for when I am in Canada, stories, posts, etc. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support and the endless lovely comments I receive. Have a beautiful day and I will see you when I get back from Canada. Take care.